on this. And beyond even the B12 that works great and other things and super male, this is what I started taking first three years ago when we were developing it that is the game changer. And you will detox in two to four weeks, in my experience. Talk to your physician because it'll, it'll push out a bunch of bad stuff out of your thyroid. So be ready. But it's at InfoWarsLife.com. Read the five-star reviews. InfoWarsLife.com. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. And you allow us to defeat the slings and arrows. You allow us to... I need to get some more reporters. I need to get three or four more. I need to get more writers. I need to hire about 10 people. And we don't have the money to do that right now. We have the money to go up on satellites and do things like that. Uh, we have the money bomb coming up. We need to raise money. And I just, you, we don't have time to wait. Just if you want to donate at infowars.com forward slash money bomb. We, we usually start doing that a few weeks before and build it up to hopefully reach our goal. But it's very expensive to do news like this. Very expensive to get the word out like this. But we're doing it thanks to your support with high quality products, the old fashioned free market way. So whether it's a mini cook stove or a shortwave radio or a made in America pro gun shirt. Uh, or a Navy SEAL manufactured bottle opener that says 1776 on it, all the knickknacks, all the survival stuff, all the storable food, all the highest quality at InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. We got the women's Molon Lambe shirts, all of it, InfoWarsStore.com or Maiden1776.com for the Made in America uh, apparel line. Uh, Larry Nichols, we're going to keep getting you up every few weeks. we got a special report coming up. I want to go to some calls. They'll be all over the map, but you can speak to it as a former politico and a smart cookie. Um, we're talking about the clear destabilization, the clear insanity, the clear fact they're trying to get a race war going in this country. Do you think they're being successful? What do you think the next shoe to drop is? What else is on Larry Nichols' radar? Oh, wow. Well, first off, yes, they're going to be successful. They're being very successful at it. And it's easy to do when you are in America today, like we were in Arkansas during my time with Bill Clinton. We controlled the press. So if you control the press, press, guess what, Alex? You control what people hear, how many times they hear it. And if you keep telling them a lie long enough, it becomes true. So you can tell now, them that uh, the North Pole's warm and sunny. Guarantee it. Guarantee it. I've done it. Now, I would say to everybody about this program, Folks, you better hear Alex when he's telling you, because I hope you understand. I got, there's nothing to me with Alex. I'm not a part of his network or anything, but I'm going to tell you, we're on a short fuse. This thing is coming down right before our eyes. Now, I'll give you another little tip. You know, Alex, this whole thing with Iran, and I hear about all that's going on and what's actually in the agreement. Number one, folks, Congress at any time it wants can hold a session and they can vote and say, guess what? This isn't an agreement. This is a treaty. And therefore, the president has zero ability to affect a treaty without getting congressional approval, number one. Number two, if you don't think we're being betrayed and if you don't think it's out in the open, every member of Congress knows that when they did the Corker treasonous bill, that what that did, it didn't stop. Stop Obama from his Iran agreement. Now, folks, hear me well on this. It didn't stop it. It shut off the only way there was to stop this agreement. If you come out and find out that Iran has been given the keys to Washington, D.C., there's nothing anybody can do thanks to the Corker bill, which is going to allow every member of commerce to vote, quote, end quote, against the agreement, right? So they're going to get their little snippet that they can use in their commercials and their little ads saying, well, I was against it. But they actually voted for the one thing that could have stopped it. You see, with the Corker bill, they fixed it to where our government can't stop Obama because they're going to vote. Everybody's going to get a chance to say, see, we were against it. I was against it. Don't be mad at me. But then Obama vetoed it. Had the Corker bill not been done. When the agreement finally came out, and if it does ever come out, it'll be over. He can't do anything about it. They could stop it, but now they can't stop it. They don't have enough votes to override his veto. And what is the point of letting Iran get nuclear weapons? Because I'm not just here bashing Iran. I'm not an Islamophobe. Uh, but we know Pakistan's handing out nukes in the, in the Middle East already. We know Saudi Arabia's got them. 
uh, from my intel, Iran's had nukes for a while, just not delivery systems. They have. What they is have. all this really about? It's about destabilizing the Middle East and allowing Obama. I know y'all going to think I'm crazy again, but look at his actions, not at his words, please. This is allowing Obama to introduce himself to the world of Islam, Islam as being the absolute leader. You see, for the first time, you're going to be able to people, the Islamic people in the Middle East are going to be able to say, hey, Obama, he's our guy. He has done what no other person of Islam has ever been able to do, and that is to conquer the great eagle from the West. Now, Alex, that's a big thing, buddy. That's a big thing. And then when people say to me, well, all this stuff you're talking about with Cuba, that can't be real. You're just making it up. And just like you said, Alex, this stuff that we're going through now is so much bigger than Contras and Iran. Hey, I was in. I, I was in Nicaragua. You're talking to a guy that was actually there. This is so big. This is taking America down a road that we, the bad guys could have only dreamed of back then. Back then, if you remember, Alex, I was in the middle of trying to stop something called the domino theory, where communists would move up through Nicaragua, then it would take Honduras, then Mexico, and then here. They're already here. And we have no idea, Alex, how many of them are here. Well, I'll tell you what, I knew something was going on. They always say communism doesn't exist as we adopt it. And then suddenly the last two years, the last year, I'll be at a restaurant or I'll be just anywhere and the communists show up in red flags and are running around calling for killing cops right in front of me. I mean, I've caught it on video. And it's like suddenly they're, they're coming out of their holes. They're suddenly activating. Alex, the other day I hear from you and a few other media that Farrakhan came out calling for 10,000 brave souls to go out and kill 100,000. Now, was he talking about 100,000 whites or was he talking about 100,000 cops? I don't know. But once again, guys, all I can ask you is think about if Alex or I, either one, were to make loose comments like that, what would happen to us? Plus, we don't want to make that comment. I would never make it, and I know you would. You know, yeah, but, believe but, it or but, not. But if we did, we'd be arrested because it's a call to action. I'm sorry? Because it's a call to action. It was. And, you know, I'm introducing a plan. I'm trying to get a plan, trying to get one state to pick it up. Alex, you and I will talk about it off air. But basically, it's a call for states' rights. If we don't have states' rights now, if some state, one state, does not stand up and declare you know, the rights of a state to make its own laws, we're lost. Washington's gone. Absolutely. Washington it's all about branding states' rights as racist and getting us all fighting with each other so nobody can come together and fight to restore the republic from the globalist takeover. And then Louis Farrakhan one time plugged me like I was great when I told Piers Morgan 1776 would happen if they wanted the guns. It's almost like he's not controlled, but he wants a revolution or something. Because we have the clip, we just put it on screen, where he did say we need to rise up and start killing people. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, what is Farrakhan looking to do? I mean, this is crazy. Does he know what's going to happen in a race war? I mean, it's Alex, not going to be pretty. Alex, that's the whole point to all of this. Obama, Farrakhan, Sharpton, all these people are talking. They know what they're doing, Alex. This whole thing evolves everybody getting together and causing the race war. Because why? Because that creates the national crisis that allows them to cash in FEMA. And when FEMA's done, they're all being told they'll have high positions of power, I'm sure. But they all better look at Obama's history. When that man has gotten where he's wanted to go, everybody that helped him get there, he threw under the bus. If you don't believe me, ask what's your name, the, the black lady with the TV show, whatever. I mean, he's thrown everybody, everybody under the bus that helped him get where he's going, and he will do the same. And for those people that say, well, Obama's not a Muslim, he says he's a Christian. Well, he also said uh, Obamacare, you can keep your own doctor. List the things that Obama has said. Remember when he spoke in Cairo, and I'm not bashing Muslims themselves, but radical ones. The Muslims were in rapture when he first got up. They said he speaks better than an imam, the, the Arabic. And, yes. yeah. I mean, look, 
I, I have nothing to be afraid of. I'm telling you, just look at Obama's actions. And then when he says something, you better do like we used to do with Clinton. Remember that, Alex? We used to say whatever Clinton said, figure out what the exact opposite is, and you'll know what he's talking about. Well, now with Obama, know this. When he says whatever he says, it's not true. So he can tell me all day long that he's just great Christian. But in fact, and indeed, his actions show me that we have a Muslim, fundamentalist Muslim in charge of our country right now. And he's leading from within our country for these riots, which literally take us to the ebb where we collapse. And well, then, let me tell you, the globalists may have been biting on more than they can chew because the military knows that they're being targeted. The police right. now know they're being targeted. And I told them this right. would come. Um, what a, I guess the elite just can't help it, though. They're, they're going for broke. They, they can't. They, you know, they, they know what they're doing. And I, I tell you, it was November 2008 when this all ended for us. You see, when they did the big thing with the bailout, and millions of Americans called their congressmen and senators. I mean, millions shut down the phones. I mean, shut down the phones. It was like 90% unpopular in polls. Right. And then six weeks later, after all of those congressmen and senators voted for it, we elected them all right back in. That was the day it ended. That was the day when they knew in Washington they didn't have to worry about and us And so anymore. they did Obamacare and all the other right. screw jobs. And, and, folks, if you think this screw job we've been given is bad, they are really getting out the big jackhammers now. I mean, oh, you bet. I mean, they're, they're coming after us now, and they believe, Alex, there's nothing we can do, but that's where you are in trouble. That's where you're in trouble. That's where I'm in trouble. There are a handful of people, Alex, that are not afraid, or at least don't have enough sense to be afraid. We're, we're trying to tell the truth. And I know, guys, y'all don't have any idea out there listening to me. You have no idea what it feels like to tell the truth about something and then have every person in the government, every single person in the government say you're crazy. And then your friends, your family, everybody hears that you're some nutbag out here. But let me tell you, that's a hot seat to sit in, not to mention going to bed at night and wondering. If I hear a noise outside, will I hear it in time to stop somebody coming in to pop me? And see, with all the racial problems, with all the people being killed now, right, Alex, with all this quote-unquote violence and this stuff going on. That gives it cover. It gives it cover. Anything happens to me or you, they say, hey, they got, you know, they got caught up in all this racial trouble. Stay there. We're going to come back and take calls. Larry Nichols, fourth hour, too. We're going to do five minutes of overdrive with yours truly, Alex Jones and Larry Nichols. Then we're doing the whole fourth hour with Rob Dew and others on this subject and a bunch of other subjects. Special reports, a power pack fourth hour. Some stations carry it. We're bringing it back every day live starting now. If your station doesn't carry it, call them or respectfully ask them to pick up the fourth hour if they can. And please support our affiliates by spreading the word and supporting their sponsors. I was just about to go to Peter in Washington. He'd been holding for an hour. I apologize. He just hung up. So we're going to go to uh, Joshua and Doug and Mike and Michael and a few others in this little segment in the next. But I'd forgotten that back on what, June 23rd, I think was the date. We'll put it on screen. Um, it was reported on in August that Louis Farrakhan came out and talked about going out and stalking and killing people. Stalk them and kill them, Farrakhan says, calling 10,000 volunteers to kill whites. And then you notice the new Black Panther Party said yesterday. We're going to stalk you in the dark and kill you. And I don't get how cops can follow orders to fire tear gas at peaceful reporters and act like they hate us. And then people walk around saying, I'm going to kill you. I mean, if somebody was walking around in front of me saying, I'm going to kill you, I'd go, I mean, it's just crazy. And it's exactly what uh, Larry Nichols was just saying. This is authorized. So I don't know what's going on with uh, Louis Farrakhan. I mean... Some of what he says I like, some of it I don't. But, I mean, this is reckless and dangerous. I mean, this is Charlie Manson stuff telling his group, go out and kill people. Plus, black people are 12% of the population, 13. Most of them aren't horrible murdering killers. Let's say 2% of black males, or 2% you know, of the black population, half of which is male. Let's say a third of the, of the black males, is about 2 3%, go out and start a shooting war. They're going to be destroyed. 